Fuji and Teapot, live from 1960. <laughs> yeah, because of that microphone. We are on the actual New Orleans. Sorry, I'm being told that I'm too close to the 1960 microphone. <laughs> Brian Butch, tell us, exactly how tall are you? 6'11". What? That's weird. How tall were you when you came out of the womb? Okay, that is an inappropriate question, <laughs> but I'm still going to let you answer it. Uh, I'd have to make a quick phone call and ask my mom. Not quite sure. Wasn't processing things back then. I was 19 inches. I know this. Oh, hey, that's impressive. <laughs> Stop putting that so close. We're not supposed to have it that close. Did people look at you and you could tell they were thinking a joke, but they were scared to say it? Uh, that's a great question. I always looked over them, so I could never see what they were looking like. Teapot, do you want to ask Brian some basketball questions? Are you married? So you're a Wisconsin native, huh? Wisconsin native. Are you hot? Okay. Am I hot right here? No. I mean, I'm always hot. No, you know what no, I mean? no. But Now we have to ask some basketball questions, Teapot. Basketball questions. Do you like basketball? Yes, I like basketball. It, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fletcher Mackle, Fletcher Mackle would have never asked that question, Teapot. Well, I don't care about Mackle. Listen, here, here, no, no, we're going to get yes, serious to now. answer a question, I do, I do like basketball, yeah. Shocking, you heard it here first, a <laughs> professional basketball player likes basketball. We are here with my personal best friend, <laughs> Fletcher Mackle, a.k.a. Was I a sworn enemy a year ago, you said? You were, but I changed my mind uh, when we, like, judged that honeybee thing. Okay. It was awesome. I like your husband better anyway. Thank you. No, I'm kidding. Now Teapot is going to ask you a couple of basketball questions. Does your hair get in the way? No. That's it. That's all Thank I Thank you for the basketball question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's all I had. Uh, are we rolling? Who's Teapot? Me. This one's Teapot, teapot here. Teapot. Obviously, you don't listen to our award-winning radio show. No. Right. We're here with Jarrett Jack of the New Orleans Hornets. We are excited to be with him because, uh, as Teapot said, Jarrett Jack matters. He matters actually extra right now because uh, all this Chris Paul stuff. Now, would you like to see Chris Paul go? Because that probably means you're a starter, right? Uh, you like it, huh? Uh, Come on. You don't have to answer it. Answer the question. <laughs> um... Okay, here's a question for you, Jarrett Jack. The lockout happened. Say they didn't come to a, uh, you know, a conclusion to the lockout. Say it just went on forever. Mm -hmm. What? Would... Ever? Like NBA never again? Right. Okay. What would your new job be? Um, other than basketball, I have an affinity for sneakers. So probably work for Nike and sneaker design or, or some, some place like that. You would want to work there knowing that they'd probably stick you in a sweatshop because that's what they do with people who make sneakers. Teapot, he didn't say he wanted to make the sneakers. He wanted oh. to design the sneakers. Oh, you yeah. wouldn't be in a sweatshop then. No, I, I don't want to like glue them together. <laughs> I just want to pick out the colors and the materials as to, you know. Well, then you'd be able to keep your fingers. Yeah, that would be the plan. For future reference, Teapot, no one actually says their dream when they grow up <laughs> is to be the one to put the sneakers together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a basketball question. What's the point of, like, different positions on the court? Because, don't look at me like that, because everybody can shoot a basket, right? It just seems like everybody and anybody gets the ball, like, whenever the game is going on. In football, everybody has, like, a certain... What is wrong with you? In football, it looks like it's ever. not. In football, it looks like everybody has a certain purpose. But in basketball, it's just like who's trying to get the ball faster. No, it's everybody has a purpose as well, but everybody's just able to score. You know, in football, it's just only a particular group of players can score touchdowns or, or get a chance to touch the ball. Basketball, everyone can score, but you still have your same role or a specific role of what you're supposed to do. Okay, now tell him that wasn't a dumb question. Am I supposed to lie? Or yes. <laughs> yes, I need you to right. lie. Well, that was not a dumb question by Teapot. Thank you for hanging out with us for a second, no all right? Thanks Thank you. Thank you. Y'all are crazy. <laughs>